In this video, I'm going to make a registration page that calls our Cognito service that we made in the last video, which registers our user with AWS Cognito, which I did two videos ago. I'll put those links in the description and I'll give you a quick demo. I set up a Proton email account. I got my password here. I hit my register and then we get a verification code section. Let me go to my email here, do a little refresh. There we go, verification. Here's my code. Control C to copy. And we paste it. Boom, we are registered. If we go over to our Bigfoot Hunters user pool, we will see that we're registered and verified. So here's my Bigfoot Hunters user pool. I'm gonna scroll down. Users are selected. Let me just hit a refresh. Boom, Simtech Gamer 7 at Proton ME confirmed. All right, let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's start out by adding a register component to our Bigfoot Hunters app, and I'll put it up here in the header. I'm going to go to my command prompt, and we got two. I got one in the Bigfoot directory and another one in the Bigfoot directory, but with ng-serve running. I'm going to do an ng-generate component register. There we go, we have our register component created. I'll go to Visual Studio Code right here, and our Bigfoot test is opened up. Let me make that maximized. There we go. Here's our register component, but we can't see it. It has the registration work, works and everything. We gotta put it in the app routing module so we can get to it. App routing module TS. And I'll just Go to our routes, hit a comma, curly bracket, path, colon, oops, single quote, register, comma, component, register, component, oops, register, component. There we go. Let's allow our users to access that register component with the header. So we'll get the header.component.html, open that up. And here's where we have our login and our logout stuff. Let's copy the login, the list item for the login, control C, and we'll put it above the login, control V. All right, so we don't want two logins here. Let's change this to register. Let's change this to register. Nice, and another thing I'm gonna change I don't want these hrefs, they work, but you have to reload the whole page. So let's do a route link. And let's just update all of our hrefs here. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, and Control V. There we go, we got all router links instead of hrefs. Still not sure what I wanna do with this. We're gonna log out, but we might not like go to a log out page. We might go to like, the login page after we hit the log out. Go ahead and save everything if you haven't already. So file, save all, go to our website. There we go. And there's our register. Let's click on it. Register works. All right, let's start doing something with this. Go back to our Visual Studio code. And I'm gonna start with the registration component TS. There we go. Now from the last video, you will recall that we have a Cognito service that we, we created. Let's go ahead and import that. So we'll say import Cognito service. And then also in the Cognito service, we have this iUser. So I will do the iUser import too. And what else are we gonna need? Oh, we'll need the router. So let's do it import and we'll do router because once we register successfully and we confirm our registration we're going to go to the login page that's what i'm going to use the router for so we'll do from single quote at angular and let's see if we can see it ah it's down here router nice semicolon all right now i need two variables here as member variables for my register component i'm going to need an is confirm 
because I need some way to know to show the section where you can enter your verification code. And this is going to be a flag. So colon Boolean, true or false. It's complaining because we have to initialize it. I'll do that in the constructor though. We're also going to need the user colon and we'll do the I user for that. For the constructor, let's go ahead and make a constructor. Open parenthesis private. We need the router. Router colon and that's of type router, comma, private. We need cognito service that we created in the last video. Colon, it's of type cognito service. Let's get a curly bracket right here. Hit enter to open that up. And we'll initialize our variables. Let's do a this is confirm. We're going to start out as false. And then I'll do a this user. We will initialize that to an open close curly bracket. So an empty Java ob or JavaScript object as I user. We're going to need two more methods. We're going to need a sign up and a confirm sign up. So let's do our sign up right here. It'll be public, public, sign up, open and close parentheses, colon, void. And we're gonna get our cognito service. I'll say this cognito service forward to the sign up method in the cognito service, pass in the user, this user, dot, then, all right, so we're gonna get a then. We'll do an anonymous function inside here go to the outside of that other bracket or that other parenthesis, do an equal greater than sign. And this is our anonymous function. I'll just say this dot is confirm equals true. All right, we could have an error though. So at the right down here on line 22, I'm going to do a dot catch. So this is a try catch scenario. And if we fail, whoops, let's go ahead and put a little message in our console. So we'll say console log something went wrong with sign up. This user is letting me know I made an error. There's no user in sign out. We don't want sign out. What we want is sign up. There we go. Must have got the wrong one. All right, so the confirm sign up is going to be almost the same. Let's copy it. Control C, go down a little bit. Control V, and that is confirm sign up. Let's see, Control C, and we have that in our Cognito service also. And when we come back, when we do the then, We'll do a this dot router dot navigate open and close parentheses, open and close square brackets, open and close single quotes slash login inside. So we will navigate to the login page and then let's just change this to something went wrong with confirm sign up. So we know if there's a difference. Now let's go over to our register component.html, click on that, and I'll get rid of register works. There we go. And go to your login page that we did a few videos ago. Open that up, and that's got a lot of great HTML, control C, that we could put in our register.component.html. So control V. And there's a few changes we have to make. Um, username, let's call this email, right? Because our username is our email. Here, we're not using a variable for username. We're using that user dot email. And then down here, oh, that's still password though. It's user dot password. That looks good. Sign in is now sign up, right? Yes, sign up. And we're going to need a section down here for the verification code that's going to become visible when we do our, 
our initial sign up. Then we're going to do a confirm sign up. So I'm just going to grab this card right here. Is that all of it? Nope. Get that div there. Control C. And then I'll put a space there so I don't get confused. Control V. This card will do confirm email. All right, so we're going to have a code. So right where it says email, let's make that code, capital, code. Make that code for the name. And then we have a code on our user. So we'll just do that, code. All right, we're not going to need the password. We'll delete that. And this isn't going to be login. This will be confirm. And instead of sign up, let's do confirm sign up. Confirm sign up. Oh, also, let me put this on another line. This reminded me up here on this other button. Should I put that? Let's put that right. Yeah, right like that. Let's make this register. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so when we click on that confirm button, we're going to do a confirm sign up. Oh, we only want to show this once we've already did the register here. It's going to go to Cognito and then it's going to send us uh, send us a code in the email. When we have the email, we're going to enter it. So in here, we're going to need an NGF. We only want to display this second card if, um, if it's time to enter the code. So I'll do an NGF equals is confirm. Oh, is confirm. We just click that. There we go. That should work. I think we're good. All right, let's save it and test it out. File save all bring up our website there's our bigfoot hunters there's our register click on that and i got my simtech gamer 7 email simtech gamer 7 at proton.me so you need to be able to get the email for the code right and then i put a really simple password on there let's go ahead and register Confirm. All right, let's go to our Proton. Here we go. There's our code. Let's copy it. Control C. Bigfoot. And confirm. We should probably change the color. So maybe have like a blue and a green. Cool. Now let's go to our Bigfoot Hunters in AWS Cognito, our user pool, to see if we've actually confirmed the user in there. Here's my Bigfoot Hunters user pool. I go down to, this is selected users here. And we just go ahead and refresh. Look at that. Simtech Gamer 7 Proton at ME. Yes, confirmed. Now we could do our sign in. 